Nonito Tonyan. All right, gentlemen. Earlier today, we went over the directions in the dress room. I want you to obey my commands, protect yourselves at all times. Understood? Yes, sir. Touch them up. Buena suerte. Play Olympia. Thank you, sir. And Daenerys fists, especially that bad hand, survive Arce's jaw. <laughs> Ultimately, he's a natural featherweight. He is 30 years old, so uh, he's still in his prime. Nothing can be taken for granted. He's landing on Daenerys' gloves. There's an uppercut for Daenerys. Another one with the left hand. Austin wants to get his body warmed up first before he tastes any of those big punches. Good left hand underneath by Donaire. All that requires a win tonight. Have we seen this cautious a Jorge Arce in the ring? Normally he's swarming his opponent. Now he begins to come forward. That, with which most people credit Donaire is counterpunching skill. And there you saw the left hook upstairs, and there goes. Arce to the canvas on a quick, short, straight right hand. Four. Now Arce boldly, brazenly attacking. He decide it's better to throw caution to the wind and be himself. It looks like he's beginning to think of that. He got hit, that was going to happen, Jim. That's the type of fighter he is. He's a man in the ring. He doesn't believe that nobody's better than him. And that's what you want to see in a... Knocked down in round two. Content now to score with the left hand. See this knockdown, they actually trade right hands, but the bigger man prevailed. He was quicker, he got there first, and Arce touched the canvas for the first time. First knockdown of the fight, and talk about old times. Joining us now at ringside, our former ringside expert, a handshake between George and Roy Jones, and Larry Merchant on his last night after 35 years, huh? Uh, and what he means to boxing, he's the only person that if you say expert boxing, oh boy, that was the most strange fight, but it was the absolute knockout. Hard left hand to the body by Arce. Arce becoming much more aggressive here now in round number three. He did the canvas in round two. Uh, and of course, he's taking the risk of walking in. Whether it happened or not, and he's trying to pay the guy back, and that's dangerous. George Donaire is a very smooth boxer puncher. He's ranked by most among the top four or five pound for pound fighters in the world. What's your take on Nonito Donaire? Well, I think it's good. Boy, I couldn't believe that Pacquiao. Come back, Pacquiao. Come on. Well, our fans seem to want a fifth fight. And here's Donaire looking for the knockout. And Arce's down again. Second knockdown of the fight for Nonito Donaire. And Jorge Arce is rubbing a glove against his left eye to get to the end of this round good right hand by nonair and another left uppercut oh and down goes arce on a brilliant left hook and that just might be that and it is referee lawrence gold waves his arm Felito donair has a third round ko do you see the left hook where he rolled under left hook came up with a straight right hand then he gave him a little fake and came with another uppercut that missed. This is the first knockdown. Then he caught him with the hook. And he's going to catch him one more hook right there, as you see. That's why I think that hurt his eye. Now three looks at the knockout. Yeah, then you see him lean to the left. Just a little bit of a dip right there. Come with a beautiful left hook, a signature punch of Donaire's. He has one of the best left hooks in the business today. When he hits him with that, it's usually lights out. I agree, this is his best punch, his counter left hook. He does it as well as anyone. Well, actually, this was a lead left this hook. This is a lead left this hook, This wasn't yep. even a counter, but I think he has a bet, the, one of the better left hooks in the business today. Well, exactly right. He can knock you out with either the lead or the counter. Arce just dropping his right hand and providing the target. What a shot. Wow. <laughs> The Filipino flash. <laughs> he can do it. Nonito Donair with his fourth win of 2012. Houston, Texas, the end comes at 2 minutes.
59 seconds of round number three. The winner by knockout victory and still WBO super bantamweight champion of the world, the Filipino Flash, Nonito Donnie.